Hello, my name's Amy. I'm a drama therapist. Welcome to my channel, Play It Through. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of other videos. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about what is drama therapy? And I want to start by taking this one word, drama therapy, and cutting it in two. <sighs> so this first word. Drama. What is drama? Maybe you think about the thing you do at school. I used to love drama lessons at school. I loved being in different plays. I loved pretending to be different people. But most of all, I loved that this was a lesson where I didn't have to just sit at a desk, but I could get up and be playful and have conversations with people and do things. I used to love that about drama. Or maybe you think about performance and you don't think about yourself, but you think about other people. So maybe you think about the theater or films or television or anywhere where actors work. Because drama is often associated with acting. And there is something there, but the word drama actually means to do. So it's taking an action, not necessarily being an actor, although that might be part of it, but it's this to do something, doing something, not just waiting and letting somebody else do it, but you're doing it. This word therapy, the word therapy is used to mean getting better, but particularly it's usually associated with your mind or your feelings getting better. So people might talk about psychotherapy sometimes, which just means psycho means mind and therapy means healing or getting better. And this is when you think about what goes on inside your head. Maybe there's different arguments that go on. Maybe sometimes you want to do something and sometimes you don't. Or maybe it's thinking about your feelings. Maybe sometimes you feel very scared or very anxious or very worried or very angry and you don't necessarily know why. Or maybe it's thinking about the instincts. You do things and you shout at people or you, you run away or you have something that you're doing that you don't really know why you do it. Maybe it's arguing with a sibling, maybe it's losing things, something's happening and you don't necessarily know why you keep doing that thing. So drama therapy is to do healing for all of that. It's anything that's going on inside you, inside your head, inside your heart, inside your gut, these things that make you do things. And the way that we do that is through play and imagination and stories. So maybe there's a story that you really like and we can use that story to explore things that are important to you. Or maybe we use little objects to represent people that you know or things that have happened to you. Or maybe we act out the things that happen inside your head and the different things that they say like, you should do your homework and I can't be bothered. And maybe I'll just play Minecraft instead. Maybe those are all different parts of you and you want to act them out and try and work out why it is that they don't talk to each other properly. All of this is possible in drama therapy and so much more. It's your space, so we do whatever it is you want to do in it, but it has to be to do with, to do healing. So as long as we're doing healing, it can be anything. And it's whatever is most helpful for you to do that. Maybe music, maybe drama, maybe games, maybe story, maybe play. If you want to find out more, please get in touch with me or with another drama therapist. And I can offer you a free one hour workshop online. And you can find out if this might be something that would work for you. I hope to hear from you soon.